What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, I know some of you guys have been waiting for these because back in the days for, for a couple of years, I've always made these videos of loot from 100 runs. Like I'm doing a ton of gold farming and I like to save up all the loot that I get from like a 10 hour session or a hundred runs of a certain dungeon and then make a video about it like showcasing what i received from those hundred runs so that is now back on track again i've been doing uh, really good i'm closing in on finishing a lot of dungeons with a hundred runs and the first one being the ultimate rng fest old man so i'm going to take you guys through the dungeon and then we're going to look at all the gold that I made from running Old Man 100 times. Uh, before we start the run, I do want to mention that you guys can still obtain the 0 to 10 million gold guide. Basically, a uh, step-by-step guide on how to go from 0 gold to 10 million gold. All the ways that I use myself uh, to achieve multiple gold caps on anything from low pop to full pop realm. And if you use the code SHADOWLANDS, you will get it for 50% off. So make sure to check out the link down below in the description and also in the pinned comments. And this is also a book that I'm constantly updating. So whenever a new patch comes out or a new expansion, I'm going to update the book for that. And once you've bought the product, you will receive the latest updates for free. So link down below. And I'm just going to roll with this run and show you guys. going to keep a timer on so you guys can kind of like get an idea of uh, how it's going you guys will also notice that i'm not looting on these runs and that triggers a lot of people because like student what if you loot a good item it's all good i've done tens of thousands of dungeon runs uh i don't really need the loot i just think it's fun to run them right so i can't be arsed to uh have all the items uh, in my bags right now that saved from a hundred runs and having uh, the loot from this run which will make it loot lo like run number 101 and it's most likely only going to be horrible items anyway so let's face it most runs that you do is full of shit but yes i am aware that this could be the run one of these mobs could have another super item worth millions of gold but i'm willing to take that risk and it's also kind of funny when people uh get mad at me in the comment section for not uh looting the mobs right now it triggers people seeing shinies on uh the ground regardless ultimate is one of those dungeons that you will need a, a speed set for if you want to be able to finish 10 runs in one hour like which is the uh the instance cap per hour 10 runs if you do it on tune without a speed set it's going to be uh very hard to kill every single mob and loot every single chest uh in the 60 minutes for 10 runs uh i'm personally using a speed set druid which is super easy to make and as you can see on the top i move at like 210 220 depends on what procs but it, he, he moves fast he moves really fast and it's super easy to make it's not going to take you multiple weeks in order to uh to make this speed set druid i do have a video up on my channel um that is how to make a speed set and uh, it's possible to do it on multiple classes you don't have to be a druid i made a relatively fast hunter when i made a million gold in the hunter only which is like 200 percent movement speed uh ish like 185 or something like that and i also made a video on how to make a speed set warrior so that's also like the, every single class you can make it at least like 50 uh to 75 percent faster by just uh, getting a couple of items and enchants and so on so this uh you guys can see the route the route that i'm taking right now um you sh you can do it in like uh, like just speed down or up the uh the video if you want to kind of like get the whole run that i'm using because there's there's different directions you can head on in old demand but uh it's not a it's not a loop so you're eventually gonna reach all the mobs uh it's uh it's hard to skip a lot of them it really is it's just important that you guys go into every single room like this room right here and kill every single uh mob that there is including the bosses there's a lot of misconceptions with old man and its super items because they're so damn hard to get that some people are saying or claiming that the super items can only drop from bosses can only drop from chests and so on and so on that's not true I've seen super drops dropping from bosses, from chests. I've personally received a super item from a boss and just a regular shit mob in the dungeon. 
And uh, even trash outside of the dungeon has dropped a super item. So they can drop from any source in all demand the super items. So they're just super hard to get. So right now, we are reaching the, uh, the last uh, rooms before the last boss. And it's very important to kill the last boss and loot the, uh, the chest behind the last boss because... Uh, it's a big chest and it has a lot of uh, lot of items dropping, so it's, there's a decent chance that one of those items will be a blue item. Got to summon this guy, and right behind him, in like inside this room, is the chest that you really need to pick up. So you can see the timer right now that this was a very fast run. That is because I, I didn't loot, so looting is going to slow you down uh, a tiny bit. But when I focus, I can easily do 10 runs um, in an hour on my druid. So looting this chest... I'm going to check it just so you guys don't. Okay. Two items this time. And uh, now we're going to Hearthstone and we're going to look at the loot that I uh, received from doing 100 runs of Ulderman. But the dungeon is possible to do on any classes. The only annoying thing is if you don't play something like a Monk or a Druid is getting in and out of the dungeon. In order to do that, it, there's a trick where you can pretty much open up your group finder. Like, you click on pre-med groups, and then you create a group. And once you've created a custom group, you just disband the group while being in the dungeon. And you will be ported outside after a minute. Like, there's going to be this countdown on your screen, like, porting you out of the dungeon in 59, 58, 57. So you're just going to time that correctly to be ported right outside the dungeon. And that's how you do it on any classes that can't use something like me, like a Dreamwalk uh, back and forth from the dungeon. But regardless... The loot from 100 runs of old demand. That's all you guys are here for. And shaboom. I'm going to go through the items. And then I'm going to use a macro that will tell me the like the overall value of everything in my bags. So starting with the green items. I kept the sorcerer's drape. It was like 10k on my realm. These tend to be decent. On my realm they're 15k a pop. The aurora armor. And they tend to sell. Night sky cowl. It's like a 6k item. Uh, star belts look at the market value 144k they were just the only reason why they are so expensive is because they have a super low drop chance i've sold a ton of these uh but i've only once sold it for over 100k i also got the steel weapon chain market value of 141k 500k on my realm not super realistic uh same as the the star belt i've only sold it for uh close to 100k once i've usually sold these for like 50 to 60k and then i got a bunch i've got like almost all of the uh normal blue items in all demand i got one urden rod it's not worth that much gold one spire wind feather it's not that good i got the excavator's brand which back in the day sold for like 25 to 40 thousand gold all day long uh this bad boy right here right now it's actually at 30,000 gold in my realm that's good because it's been down to like 2,000 gold at some point uh Lickers of the vault got two of those so i got three of the energy cloak uh, three of the uh, unearthed bands i got the heaven's light also got a monolithic bow a stone vault shiv it's not that expensive got one decent epic which is actually 80,000 gold in my realm at 48,000 gold market value also got an obsidian cleaver, which is 47k in my realm. Got some skull plate bracers for uh, 40,000 gold in my realm, 27k market value. I got an annealed blade. It's not that good. It's like 10k. And then I got the ultimate ninja sword, the Jinsu. This is like what you're aiming for in Ultimat. Sure, there's items worth millions, the so-called super items, which is some of the rarest in the game. But I've made more gold selling Jinsu's than I have selling super items because the Jinsu is relatively hard to get. But you can, you will probably get like 10 Jinsu's before you receive a super, super item, even 20. I think I got like 27 or 28 Jinsu's before I got my first super item. Uh, and the market value on one of these bad boys is 223k. And it's currently 375,000 gold in my realm. Now, you might look at this and think that it's just a usual ninja sword. And there's a lot of ninja swords like it. But what's so unique about it is the way that you, like, wield it, right? Like, the look of how you're wielding it. I'm not sure if it's, like, you put it in the back, like an X, like two ninja swords on the back, like an X on your back. Or if it's that it's a ninja sword that's hip placed, it's like on your hip. It's one of the two. It's like 
very unique way of wielding it compared to all the other ninja swords. There's only the Jinsu and one other sword that can be wielded in like this unique way when you're like just like running around on your tune or just standing still when you don't have your weapon out like this like when you put it back into place it's being put in like a unique way or some shit like that so it's a really good sword and i've sold a ton of these now the soup i'm guessing the the video on this like a a couple of weeks ago or like a week uh, ago i got like fifty thousand views so i'm guessing that most of the people watching this video has already seen it but i did get a super item. I got the uh, almighty Papal Fess, which is awesome that I got it. It just sucks that I got the Papal Fess out of all the super items because I've received the Papal Fess in the past. So I kind of want to get a super item that I haven't received before. Uh, but it looks like this. It, it's uh, I've sold my previous one for like a million gold or two million. I don't remember. Uh, I will sell this one as well. But it took me like eight months to sell the previous one. So it's going to take some time to sell this bad boy. So now I'm going to use the TSM macro to see uh, how much gold I made overall from these 100 runs. Just keep in mind that the Popal Fest won't count because it, there's like no statistics on it. So when I use uh, my macro right here, it's going to say 705,000 gold. So that's 70,000 gold an hour because I had 10 runs an hour, 100 runs, 10 hours, right? And that's without the Papal Fest. So if I sell the Papal Fest, I've made 170,000 gold an hour if I sell it for a million. If I sell it for 1.5, like you guys can do the math. It's like, um, what? That's why I want you guys to do the math so I didn't have to do the math. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So even without the Papal Fest, the 70k an hour is really damn good. And yeah, before disclaimer, before you guys type in comment section, but student, it's not going to sell overnight. No, it won't. But I've done literally over 2,000 runs of Ultimat. And I'm currently almost completely out of stock of Ultimat items. So people claiming that they don't sell, look, like I got no Jinsu's left. I got none of the annual blade left. I got no skull flame left. I don't have... Do I have even... I don't think I have any of... Oh, nope. I don't. I'm completely sold out of unique Ulderman items. Uh, so they definitely sell. But yeah, they sell slowly. But like if you take 40 items from Ulderman and try to sell those items only, it's going to take a long time before you get your gold back. However, if you have items from a lot of different dungeons and all of a sudden you're at like a thousand different transmog items you're getting sales daily all the time and that's how you make gold with transmog however that was the end of today's video so i'm super excited to show the loot from all the other dungeons and open world farms that i'm working on hopefully you guys like these videos and if you do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you will be notified whenever i upload a video also, don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide unless you already own it. And that's it for now. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.